Is this a good camera angle? I guess it's as good as it's gonna get. Hello everyone, uh, this is not the most organized of these channel updates that I tend to do once every couple of months, but the topic is very important. It's something that's been sort of floating around in my head for a while. And now I finally thought that I would sit down and actually make the video and talk about what's going to be happening with the channel uh, in the next sort of period because there are going to be some major changes so I really do encourage you to stick around and watch this video because it is going to be uh, the catalyst for a lot of change around here. Probably last year I made another one of these videos where I talked about sort of how gameplay walkthroughs are not really popping on YouTube, uh, they're not very popular, my channel is dying and that I'm going to change my format. I sort of did change my format, I moved from like just having straight up 30 to 35 minute long unedited or almost unedited episodes to a more sort of organized edited format where I cut out all the dead weight, I cut out all the mistakes and all that in my videos, but still produce the same sort of gameplay walkthrough type thing. I've been doing that basically for the last year and right now is when I feel that some changes are needed. The very simple fact is that I am no longer enjoying this format. By this format, I mean the sort of, whether you want to call them let's plays or walkthroughs, the sort of single episode, half an hour gameplay with commentary type deal. Honestly, I've been doing this format since I started my YouTube channel, which was, well, basically almost 10 years ago. In 2012 was when I really started sort of actually making YouTube videos and actually putting some effort in. And I've been doing this format since then. And recently, the past couple of months, I've realized that I'm really, really tired of this format now. Uh, really, the second Elden Ring playthrough is what really pushed me over the edge. I'm not having fun with the actual format. I'm enjoying the gameplay. I'm enjoying the character that I'm playing, but I'm not enjoying the type of content that I'm producing. And, you know, the thing that I'm afraid of is that this is affecting both my commentary and the quality of the videos. You probably noticed that uploads have kind of slowed down over the past couple of weeks. Partly that's due to summer. Uh, the streams have stopped a bit because my mixer is dying. I need to get a new one, which I'm gonna be getting. And I'm going on vacation anyways for the rest of the week, which I'm on vacation when you're seeing this. So streams are gonna be returning, which I'll talk a bit more about later. But the crux of the situation is that the gameplay walkthroughs themselves, I'm not having a lot of fun with. And you know, I think after 10 years, a change in formula is very much warranted. Now there are other reasons that I wanna cover why I'm thinking of switching uh, my YouTube formula, which I'll get into in a little bit. One of the biggest issues is that as sort of shitty as it is to say, you know, I'm doing YouTube as a hobby, uh, these videos really do take a lot of time out of my day, combined with the thumbnail creation, rendering, recording, editing, audio editing and everything, they take a ton of time. And I've been really noticing with two dogs, a full-time job, family commitments and other hobbies, I have to cut things out. and. It's always a rush to get a single episode out. I know I have like a schedule to kind of stick to. It's just a whole mess. And they, again, they really do take a surprising amount of time. Unfortunately, because of that, things like my music hobby have been suffering and I don't want to do that. I don't want to sacrifice one hobby for another. And I especially don't want to sacrifice a hobby for another hobby where I don't really enjoy what I'm currently doing. And the other thing is because of these gameplay walkthroughs take so much time, it really makes gaming sort of very slow for me. I really again noticed this with Elden Ring where it took me like three months to complete my first Elden Ring playthrough because I'm sort of limited by how much I'm recording and editing and uploading. I don't want to get too far ahead and all of this. It really does limit how much I can actually game and gaming is one of my biggest hobbies and the games I'm playing on the channel take too long and because the videos themselves take so much time I'm not able to game as much off screen as well. Summarizing all of this up, a change is coming. Essentially, what I'm going to be doing is I will be completing 
the current Elden Ring Sorcerer playthrough. After the Sorcerer playthrough, I'm going to be transitioning to only streaming and sort of less frequent, by less frequent I mean one every two, three weeks, more edited, longer type gameplay videos. You probably saw these on YouTube already where people cover, I don't know, like a Souls-like, uh, they do a review, they do a nostalgia trip about an old game. You know, these sort of like, I don't want to call them video essays, but sort of like a half an hour to 40 minute long edited sort of commentary video on a particular game, whether it's something that I've never played and I'm playing for the first time, a game I'm going back to from my childhood. You know, like... It's probably, I don't know if there's a genre for it, but you know, these types of like commentary videos, that's all I can call them. They're going to be long format, they're going to be edited, and again, they are going to be a lot less frequent. The reason I've chosen this format is when I was doing my first Elden Ring playthrough, I made like a couple of reviews and commentary videos and all this throughout me playing the game. And all of these videos were fairly popular, and I had a ton of fun doing all of these videos. I realized that I have much more fun when I'm just like sitting down and playing a game and I have it recording with no face cam, no commentary and nothing. And then I use this gameplay as the background for an actual video where I do the script, I have editing, I have actual organized ideas, not like in this video. And it just comes out as a product that I'm much more proud of and I'm much happier with. This is going to, first of all, again, shake up the format. It's going to make me enjoy making videos once again. Plus, it's going to allow me to actually play games. Because I'll be recording and then I'll use them as the basis for videos. I hope all of this is making sense, by the way. Uh, it really does feel like the way forward for this channel. Uh, and, you know, who knows, maybe later down the line I'll still do walkthroughs, if Elden Ring gets DLC, Street Fighter 6 when it comes out, I'm gonna do a ton of videos for, there's still gonna be standard videos, but the main focus of the channel is going to be more of this, like, long format content. Aside from the long format content, streaming is going to be the other major thing. I'm going to stick to my schedule. Again, it's been a bit chaotic because of technical issues, but once I'm back, I have actually a ton of ideas, both for videos and streams written out. So streams are going to be continuing and that's going to be the holdover between episodes uh, of my main channel content. You're gonna be seeing just streams, you know, I'm gonna be finishing Bloodborne and then I have a ton of other ideas. So that's going to be, again, the thing that hopefully holds people over until the actual main channel videos come out. Finally, the last thing is I'm going to be making a lot of content on my other social medias. I have an Instagram. I actually might have a TikTok as well. And I have my music channel, my music YouTube channel, which probably already has a video on it. I'm gonna put a little banner there, so go and show that some love. But you can follow me on Insta, you can even follow me on TikTok if you wanna. I mean, I kinda post the same content there uh, of my music stuff, but the difference is gonna be the uh, Instagram and TikTok are gonna be the short format music stuff, like just little jams uh, that I'm doing. And then on the music channel, I'm going to have actual videos as well, showing how I make a beat or whatever. So if you're interested in that, do subscribe to the music channel. Again, uh, there will be a little banner there uh, linking to that. Yeah, and that's really basically it to sum it up. I know it's a big change, but again, I've never felt it more appropriate than now. I really feel like this is the time to change and this is the time to evolve both for myself and for the channel as well. I, I, again, really feel like this is the direction forward. Streaming is fun, I'm enjoying it, and I'm enjoying these long format videos, so I'll be energized, things are actually gonna be happening, and it's just gonna be, hopefully, really good. And yeah, that's it. Who knows what will happen in half a year to a year. Uh, maybe things are gonna be different again then, but for now, I'm sticking to this. Anyways, what I'm going to go ahead and do is wrap up this rambling video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed as always. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications to stay up to date. 
anything in the comments if you have any questions or thoughts leave them and yeah do check out that music channel and my other social media as well take care and peace out